We're going to spend some time with uh, another one of the Calgary Flames' new uh, recent signings, and that is uh, Clark Bishop, who joins the organization from uh, the Ottawa Senators organization here uh, recently. And maybe, uh, well, first of all, welcome uh, to the Calgary Flames, Clark, and just uh, a thought on uh, kind of going through this process and, and eventually landing on Calgary as the destination for next season. Yeah, thanks for having me on. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really a, a difficult decision. I played in Canada the last couple of years, Canadian, uh, kind of like being up in Canada. Um, uh, kind of familiar with Alberta, uh, a lot of noofs are up there that, uh, that way. And, uh, yeah. And I had some family members that have lived up there in the past as well. Uh, so I was looking forward to it. Well, that's great. I, I absolutely, I got a couple of neighbors who, uh, who come from that part of the country as well. Um, maybe just the, you know, what does it feel like kind of, uh, you know, a place that, uh, you know, has that home feel to it. I mean, in your time being able to uh, maybe either stop through or come into Calgary. Uh, I, I've only been there to play over the last couple of years, and I actually played uh, in the Prospects game when I was uh, 17 okay. uh, out there. I've uh, never really drove through or spent a whole lot of time there other than going there for hockey, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, just being Canadian, being in Canada uh, for me and, and also my fiance, it just kind of works better for us. Yeah, no question. Well, and uh, happy to have you. And maybe just a, a thought on kind of as you take a look at just the organization top to bottom and obviously the uh, the American Hockey League team going to be here moving into Calgary as well. Um, you know, just what stood out to you as you're going through the process in terms of the hockey fit for you as a player? Yeah, I think uh, Calgary plays a style of hockey that, uh, that I can play pretty well. Um, and, you know, just looking down to the depth chart, uh, I noticed that there are quite a few younger guys uh, in the organization and, you know, coming from Charlotte in 2019 after winning the Calder Cup, uh, I think I can bring a lot of experience, whether it be in, uh, in uh, Stockton or Calgary in the AHL. And, and also, you know, I think I can fit in pretty well uh, up top in, in Calgary. Where are you at right now? I mean, I'm curious about growth. Obviously, you know, you mentioned, you know, that championship at the American Hockey League level, some time in Charlotte, some time in uh, Carolina, some time in Ottawa, and uh, and just the American League there at the Belleville. Maybe just, you know, where you are now, 26 years old, and just how you kind of see yourself uh, growing at the professional level. Yeah, I mean, six years going into my seventh year now next year. Uh, you know, I've learned a lot along the way and, and like I mentioned before, going all the way with uh, Charlotte 2019 and winning that Calder Cup. I mean, uh, when you win something like that, you, you gain a lot of experience and, you know, I, I feel like you can pass it on to a lot of other guys who haven't necessarily been uh, in that spot before. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to come up and, and join Calgary. And, and like I said, whether that be in Calgary or, uh, or Stockton, Calgary's AHL team, uh, I think uh, I'll be a good fit. Well, and I know a lot of those questions, uh, you go through training camp and, and go through that process, but, uh, you know, you did spend some time in the National Hockey League last year and have over the course of your career. I mean, what about uh, playing at that level? You know, do you kind of feel like you're ready to make that move or, you know, how do you kind of see, you know, that transition and trying to, you know, maybe take more of a full-time role at the higher level? Yeah, uh, I think it's a, it's a big confidence uh, thing as well. Uh, you just got to get confidence in yourself and, and play the way that, you know, you know you can play. And I think that's a big thing for me coming in this year uh, to prove that I'm ready to play a, a full-time NHL role is, uh, you know, have confidence in the ability of, of what I can do and, uh, you know, just, just play the way you can play. How about the summer? What does it look like for you? Uh, I know training and, uh, and skating and all that kind of figures into it, but uh, out there in Newfoundland, what is it, uh, what's it look like? Yeah, uh, I've been here since uh, early June. Uh, took some time after the season uh, for vacation, but uh, – Got uh, three or four weddings this summer, so kind of going through that. I'm at that age where everyone's getting married, yeah. and uh, I got engaged as well this summer, so that's it's exciting. And uh, my fiance is from New Brunswick, so we're kind of back and forth between there for weddings there and weddings in Newfoundland. So it's a bit a uh, bit of a busy summer for us, but you know we're enjoying it. And it's it's all exciting. You got uh, it, you know any groomsman stuff going on, or best man, any bachelor party planning, or what's it like? <laughs> Anything they were pretty straightforward just attend the weddings. Got, haven't gotten to that part yet. Haven't really been to I'm standing in a, my fiance's sister's wedding in okay. August, so we have a bachelor party there uh just the week before the wedding in New Brunswick. So looking forward to that. And you guys don't have a date yet picked up? Uh, I think we're looking at next July at some point, but still trying to get some things together. Fair enough, fair enough. I won't put you on the spot. Uh 
Hey, listen, appreciate the time and uh, all the best. Enjoy the summer out there. And uh, actually, maybe I was going to ask you one more thing before we left. I mean, uh, I was just doing some research, kind of looking at your track record. I, I would imagine there's a sense of pride to the, you know, the Newfoundland, uh, kind of almost a club of guys who play in professional hockey league. What, uh, you know, what, what about, you know, just that sense of community and where you're from and uh, St. John's and just, uh, you know, how much, you know, guys look up to you and, and, uh, and, and playing at a higher level? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think everybody who lives in St. John's and for in Newfoundland for that fact is huge hockey fans. Uh, I think the community just supports everybody very well. Um, you know, I, and I also think there's not a whole lot of NHL guys from Newfoundland over the years. There's a, there's, there's a good few, but not many make it. Uh, we got a few younger kids coming up that are, that are pretty good hockey players and, you know, Alex Newhook is uh, from Newfoundland, won the uh, Stanley Cup this year. So uh, I know he's bringing that, the cup back uh, here uh, at the end of August. So I think the community is pretty uh, looking forward to that. And uh, no, I think it's it's good. And, and everyone, you know, the younger kids look up to you and, and you just try to be a, a role model for those kids. Yeah, that's great. Love how everybody keeps tabs on uh, what everyone's doing with their hockey career as you go on. So uh, I know they'll make you, uh, you'll be keeping track of you here in Calgary either way. And uh, we appreciate you taking the time. We'll look forward to seeing you here in Calgary soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.